Hi, I'm Tiago, and this video is a review on the ending of Frozen 2. So, in order to regard the ending, I need to address the full movie. So, let's start. The beginning starts with Anna and Elsa when they're little playing in the Enchanted Forest. And this leads to their parents telling the story about the Enchanted Forest. This story portrays a battle between the people from Arendelle and the Nathundra people. And this led to a curse that involves the whole enchanted forest being shut down from the world, and the spirits from that forest being enraged. Later on in the story, Elsa awakens those spirits and leads them to enrage and make Arendelle unlivable. The people fled to the cliffs, and Anna, Elsa, Kristoff, Sven, and Olaf go into the Enchanted Forest to solve this problem. In the Enchanted Forest, they find the Nathundra people and some people of Arendelle that were trapped there when the forest was shut down. They then lead on to a quest to free the forest. On this quest, they all get separated. Anna gets separated from Kristoff and Sven. She also gets separated from Elsa. Elsa goes along to the river at the Hallwen to find the truth. And there she realizes that the fifth spirit from the forest is her. She then finds out that her grandparent was the one that started the war with the Nathundra people. And she wants to know more. To know more, she dives too deep and ends up dying in the Athahawan River. This not before she sends a message to Anna so that she knows the truth and she frees the forest. Now this is where the story gets interesting. Did Elsa actually die? And I will go about this later. Anna then frees the forest by breaking the curse and freeing the river. This all goes well and the forest is free and everything is okay. And this is when Elsa is freed, she is unfrozen and she comes back to life. This was the part that puzzled me because nobody actually knows if she came back to life or did she actually die and became a spirit from the forest? Even though Elsa stays in the forest, Anna and her keep setting on meetings to play game family nights. However, she as a spirit could go to Arendelle just like the spirits went to Arendelle in the first place. So the question remains, did Elsa actually die or not? Nonetheless, she remained the magical creature that we all came to know and love. I hope this video made things clear for you, and if you have any questions, just leave them below. Thank you so much for watching, and see you next time. Bye!